Well, hello. Today's lab is about heat and temperature change. In order to study this, we're going to look at two separate processes. In one process, heat is given off from the system to the surroundings, so it's an exothermic process. And in another process, heat is taken up from the surroundings to the system, so that's an endothermic process. So in order to do this experiment, you're going to need some supplies. And some of these supplies are going to come from your kit, and some of the supplies are going to come from your kitchen. So from your kit, here's what you're going to need. Your calorimeter, which is a set of nested styrofoam cups, so have that ready. You're going to need your thermometer, so take that out of the box, and also take the sleeve off, so just pull that off, and now your thermometer is ready. And you're going to need some weighing boats, so from your kit, get some weighing boats out, have them ready. You're going to need a polypropylene stirring rod, so make sure you get that out. You're going to need your balance, so take your electronic balance out of the box. It comes with batteries, so the battery should be in there already. And make sure that's got the covers off of it, so it's just the balance part. You're going to need your 100 milliliter graduated cylinder, so get that out and ready. And you're going to need your scoopula. Now your scoopula comes in a plastic sleeve and you'll notice on the other side that there's a little bit of a, a lip there. So just fold that over and then you can pull that back and remove the metal scoopula from the sleeve. And those are the items from your kit. So now let's look at the items from your house. You're going to need some baking soda. So here's a box of baking soda. You're going to need some household vinegar. You're going to need 50 mils of it, but here's a bottle of vinegar basically. You're going to need a slotted spoon because you're going to be lifting your egg from the uh, saucepan. So here's a slotted spoon. You're going to need one small raw egg in the shell because you're going to be preparing a hard boiled egg. And you're going to need a saucepan with a cover because that's what you're going to cook your egg in and that's what you need from your house. So we're going to start with our exothermic process. If you were doing this course in the lab here, we would probably have a hot object like a metal. We'd heat it up and then transfer it to cool water and measure the temperature changes there. But we're doing this in your house and a typical household object that's hot and has to cool down is a hard boiled egg. So we're going to prepare a hard boiled egg. So now we're going to weigh the egg so first thing, we're going to turn on our balance and we're going to add a weigh boat to the balance. Set it on the balance and now it's reading 3.14 grams but we just want the mass of the egg so we're going to tear the balance. So we're going to press the tear button which is the button on the right with a T on it. So press the tear button and now the scale is reading zero even though there's a weigh boat on the balance. So we're going to put the egg into the weigh boat and wait until the reading settles. It's sort of oscillating between 53.96 and 53.97. Now I'm seeing 53.96, so that's what I'm going to record in my report sheet. All right, so now it's time to prepare our hard boiled egg. So what we're going to do is carefully place our hard boiled egg into our saucepan and we're going to add water to the saucepan and we'll add water to cover by about an inch, about three centimeters. We don't have to measure that, we just have to make sure that the egg is covered with water. So let's go over to the sink. All right. And remember, it doesn't have to be exactly three centimeters, but it has to be covered. Okay, that should do it. It's about right. Okay. So now you're going to set it on the stove. Now I don't have a stove in the lab, obviously. I'm using a hot plate. But you're going to set this on your stove. And you're going to start bringing this pot to a boil on medium, medium high heat. For me, I'm going to crank it up because this burner requires it. For you, use medium to medium high heat. This is going to take a while. You're going to bring this pot to a boil. 
So while our egg is cooking, let's prepare our calorimeter. So the first thing we have to do is find out the mass of the water that's added to the calorimeter. So first we have to weigh our empty calorimeter. So we turn on our balance and then put our calorimeter on the balance. Now we're not using tear for this part at all. So we look at our calorimeter setup and we see that it weighs 6.67 grams. So we record 6.67 grams as the mass of the empty calorimeter. Now we want to put 200 grams or 200 milliliters roughly of water into a calorimeter. And you'll often find that you need approximately a certain amount. So we have our graduated cylinder. We don't have to do what we did in previous labs and have it exactly be a certain amount. We can just add about 200 milliliters of water. So we'll use the, the graduated graduations to guide our work, but it doesn't have to be exact. Let's see now. So I'm going to eyeball it here. Uh, it's roughly 100 milliliters. And another 100. Basically to the top of the etchings, nearly. And add that in. It is, as I said, it is not exactly 200 milliliters, but that's okay. So we don't have to know exactly how many milliliters of water we added because we're going to find out now how much water we have. We're going to place the calorimeter in the water on the balance again. And the reading is 208.02 grams. So that has to be recorded on the report sheet. And now our calorimeter is ready for later on when we're going to add the hot egg. So now that your water is boiling, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to turn off the stove. So turn it off and you're going to remove the saucepan from the stove and you're going to place it on a surface that can take the heat. If you have a hot pad or a pad or a trivet and I have a hot pad right here. So you're going to take it off the heat and let that egg sit in the hot water for 12 minutes. So now we've waited for 12 minutes and our egg is ready. So we have to take the temperature of the water that the egg is in because that's the temperature of the egg. The egg and the water have come to thermal equilibrium. So carefully, because this water is hot, we will stick our thermometer in. Give it a slight stir. And we'll wait for this to settle. The temperature is going up, and we'll wait till it settles to a constant value. So 82.2 degrees Celsius. So that is the temperature of the egg and the water that it's sitting in. Now, you have to take the temperature also of the cool water in the calorimeter. Those are your two initial temperatures, the initial temperature of the egg and the initial temperature of the water. 21.4 is our initial temperature. So now, using the slotted spoon, because you have to get the egg out of this hot water, Using the slotted spoon, we're going to carefully transfer the egg to the calorimeter. Now, in goes your stirring rod and in goes your thermometer. Turn it on. This part is going to take a long time. You're going to observe the temperature going up. It's 23.5, 23.6. 23.7 and what you're looking for is the maximum temperature so eventually the temperature is going to reach a constant value and it's actually going to start to go down but it's going to take a while and probably at least five minutes so what I recommend is that you take the temperature every half a minute minute or so 
maybe take a spare piece of paper, a piece of scrap paper, and write down a few values so you remember what it was. So we're up to 25.4. Wait another half minute. Has it gone up? Has it gone down? Oh, it's gone up. All right, so we keep going. And you just keep going until you reach a maximum value. So while we're measuring and waiting for this maximum temperature to occur, let's talk a little bit about the kinds of calculations we're going to be doing. We're going to calculate the Q of the surroundings, the amount of heat taken in. And as you've seen on your uh, procedure, Q, the heat, is equal to mc delta T, where m is the mass of the water in the calorimeter, which you have. Delta T is the change in temperature, final minus initial. Remember, we took the initial temperature of the water, recorded it, and now we're going to get the final temperature of the water, so we can get that T final minus T initial. And the C is the heat capacity of the water, the specific heat capacity. And that's 4.184 joules per gram per degree Celsius. So we can do that calculation to find the amount of heat that's absorbed. That's the first step in the next calculations, which we'll talk more about in class, to get the heat capacity, specific heat capacity of the egg. Okay, we went up to 30.1 and then we went down to 30. So I think we've reached the maximum temperature now. So 30.1 is our maximum temperature, and I'm going to record that on my report sheet. So we're done with part A, and we have to prepare our calorimeter for our part B. So we're going to empty this out and get ready for that trial. So basically what we have to do is pour the water down the sink, take the egg out, throw it out, and give this a little rinse and wipe it out and then you'll be ready for part B. The last thing we're going to do is take our selfie. So here we are in our personal protective equipment. We have all of our experiment set up here in front of us. So get your cell phone out. Try to get you in the picture and as much of your equipment as you can. And here's your selfie. So this is the heat and temperature lab. Remember, if you have any other questions, feel free to use my office hours or drop me an email. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.